Hey guys, MJ here from Nightcon Singapore. Today we're going to look at the new TM20K, right? 20,000 lumens. I'll show you the two things that Nightcore did incredibly well and why it's constantly being used by professionals despite its larger size and how it stacks up against other similar tactical lights in Nightcore's range. But before you begin, if you want to win this TM20K, make sure you subscribe to this channel and comment below on what would you use something like this for. Once you get 1000 likes, I'll give away one set to one lucky winner to be announced in the description box below. Alright, so back in 2018, Nightcore shocked the world with the industry's first 10,000 lumen light. Right, that's actually usable in professional scenarios. Right, here's the TM10K, you can see 10,000 lumens here. Now, four years later in 2022, the TM20K has arrived with double the brightness at 20,000 lumens. Right, they fixed all the problems with the TM10K and added new tech from other successful lights like the P10 IX here and the P20 IX and of course the TM9K here. Right, so these have been the most successful floodlights of the past few months. Now, before I go any further, the number one question everyone's been asking, how long can it last at 20,000 lumens before it drops down? Right, the TM10K could only do seven seconds before it steps down to prevent it from overheating. All right, so here's the TM20K. All right, let's go to turbo. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6, 7, 8, 9, around 9 seconds, right? And if you try to force turbo again, 9,000, around 9 seconds again. Right, because physics, right, the brighter the light, the more heat generated. And the smaller the light, the harder it is for the heat to dissipate, right? That's why bright lights get hot really fast. And when the light gets too hot, it damages its own circuits. So that's why many lights will claim incredible brightness but only last a few seconds because the heat problem is very difficult to solve. Right, some brands will add fans, others will make it bigger like this, right? just so the light stays cool longer. But that's something that tactical or professional users don't want. Right? Fans are moving parts which means they will fail in water or any kind of sand or dirt will instantly destroy them. Right? Big lights like this with massive heat sinks are uh, another big no because of their size, right? They're already carrying a ton of gear and most of them need one hand free to use firearms and other equipment, right? They don't have the capacity to lug around a massive one-handed, right? It doesn't make any sense. And almost all big lights have their control on the side here, right? Which completely destroys any tactical one-handed stealth use, right? You cannot have this on the back and then do a SOS or a room clearing or signaling. You can't do it without using two hands. Right? Even with something like the MH40 GTR, this one here, which has the tail cap switch at the bottom, it doesn't make sense to hold it right at the back here and then you go. The center of balance is forward, so it's incredibly clumsy to use in tight spaces. So Nightcore knows this, that's why they went the other way. Instead of adding fans and increasing bulk, they did two things to make these high-powered lights actually usable for professional users. The first thing is a very clever control layout that only uses one hand. Right, it's incredibly easy and I'll show you exactly how it works in a bit. Okay, the second thing is a hybrid reflector that does both flat beam for close range and spot beam for long range. Right, this is incredibly difficult to do and you rarely see this kind of design in high power lights. Right, so this is the old TM10K at 10,000 lumens. You can see everything is uh, flat, right? The reflectors are all very shallow. Alright, so when you first get it, it's gonna look like this. Here's how it works. So let's unbox this. Pop the front off. Uh, there. Let's pop this off. Right here's the holster. Pop it up front. Pull it out. Right here, this TM20K. Now watch how with one hand you can control everything. Right, everything is within thumb and index finger reach on this mode button here. When you first get the light, it's going to be on lockout mode here. Right now, this is important because. Accidentally turning on 20,000 lumens in a bag is going to set it on fire. So when it's on lockup, nothing works. No matter what you press, it's not going to turn on. Even if the lever gets accidentally pushed from lockout to one or two, right, nothing will work. Right? It's a complete uh, fail safe. When you press something, it'll tell you that, hey, it's in lockout mode here. See the rapid blink? Now the foolproof way to unlock it is to hold the mode button in front, then move the lockout lever with your thumb. It's gonna flash once, showing that it's unlocked and it's good to go. So now let's jump to the best part first, the tactical buttons, right in the middle on either side. So it works for either left or right-handed use. So as long as you hold it, 20,000 lumens will come out, or if you prefer 20,000 lumen strobe, you can press and hold the turbo button, tap the mode button once, and now when you tap the turbo button, it's going to go into strobe. 
All right, so there, this is a 20,000 lumen stroke. Even now, many clients will ask, right, hey, does the stroke mode really work? Right, why should I use this over constant turbo? Right, for one very good reason, it will command absolute attention because of how visually disruptive this is. Right, so if you're in a crowd control or traffic control, this will make whoever stop, look, and pay attention. Right, if you just use turbo like this, right, it might look like a very bright high beam from another car. But if you strobe them, they're going to know without a doubt someone somewhere is signaling them. Now, strobe also has very serious effects up close. This is a true story I often share from a local paramedic. Right, they were trying to help this drunk guy, but he ended up trying to touch one of the female paramedics. Right, he immediately got struck by another paramedic holding an older P10. Right, the guy got flashed in the face. So he quickly backed off and he puked all over the place. Right, then they were able to pin him down and wait for the police to arrive. The P10 he was using back then had a 800 lumen stroke. Right, so imagine what a 20,000 lumen stroke will do, right? So, but there's a caveat to this. It's going to completely blind that person and blind the user as well because of the amount of light reflected back when you're dead close, right? Many people don't think about this when it comes to self-defense. Brighter is not always better. Right? And there's a limit to how much light is too much. Right, so then what's the point of 20,000 lumen, right? I can just stop at 1,000 lumen stroke and it's good, right? The catch here is that it increases the scenarios and distance that you can use this technique. So with the P10, 800 lumens is say good for five to 15 meters, right? Person to person. It, it might not be so effective if you're facing down cars with heavily tinted windows or let's say a larger vehicles like trucks, boats and construction vehicles. Right? For those, you need to have higher lumens and that's where the 20,000 lumens come in. So can you see the scale now? So this is one of the main reasons why some teams have this in their toolbox. Right? High lumens let you punch further and cover a wider area. Right? You can hit large crowds or hit larger vehicles that a smaller P10 light just cannot do. Some clients will also ask, so when should I use strobe versus constant turbo? Now that you know strobe is for getting attention, disruption and disorientation. Constant turbo is for taking away someone's vision for a good 10 seconds or more. Perfect example is another true story an Israeli police officer shared with me. Right? He used the P20 on the streets at night. So he was approaching a group of suspects like already in hammer fist. When he got to around 5 meters, one of the suspects rushed him with a knife. Right? He flinched and mashed the button on his light. It turned on right in the suspect's face, cleared the knife and all the suspects turned and ran. Right, so the one that got blinded sprinted straight into a wall and almost knocked himself out. Right, then they were able to pin him easily after that. So that's the effect of a sudden bright light in a dark environment. It burns a mark on your retina. So wherever you look, it's just a blur, right? You really can't see anything. And that's how the suspect ran straight into a wall. So that's the whole point of the TM20 case design. To have 20,000 lumens in one hand, ready to unleash in a split second, right? Yet compact and light enough that you can still print after a subject. Right, it's that few seconds where you can completely remove vision from a threat or suspect that makes these lights so incredibly valuable to operators. For example, if I'm gonna just slowly point it up to you, you really can't see anything. Right, so while you are blinded this way, people from the side could have already flanked you. Right, so that's one of the main uses of a constant on turbo. Right, it's not meant to be used as a high powered 20,000 lumen searchlight that's on all the time. It wasn't made for that. It's very clear who they had in mind when they designed this light. You can tell from the button placement and controls. For the majority of everyday users that don't need to blind people on a daily basis, the two other modes here got you covered. One for daily mode and two for tactical mode. On daily mode, all brightness levels, spot and flat beams are available. All right, here's how the mode changing works. Turn on and press the mode button here with index to change mode from ultra low, low, medium, high and press this side button for turbo. Alright guys, this is a TM20K, back at our favourite car park. Close range, low mode. So here's how it looks like. It's on ultra low mode. Go to medium, right high, and then even higher. Alright, so at this mode, you can see it pretty much lights up everything. You turn off and on again, you remember the mode that you left it in. Right, if you want to push it to turbo, this is how it looks like on turbo, right? Everything is lit. You don't want to alarm the guards, right? So now we go on to medium range, the roof up there, even on low mode, you can clearly see, you know, up to the roof, right? So push it to low, medium, high, right? This is incredibly strong for a, a high lumen light, right? Because of the spot reflector on turbo, bam, everything is lit up. All right, back down to low. Now the long range test, the roof over on that side, you can barely see a little bit, 
pump it up. Up. Max. Little bit. Turbo rate, yes. You pretty much like up everything in front of you. Right, there's also a special floodlight and spotlight only modes. So you press and hold, you go into floodlight only. Right, so this incredibly diffuse. Hold it even longer, you go into the floodlight and hold some more and spotlight. Right, so this is pure spotlight only. Right now, this is on a 1800 lumen flood. Look at that. Very soft, uniform light, right? Of course, for flood light, you can't really see the top of the roof just a little bit, right? Of course, long range, no, can't reach, right? And you, you can also go to the spotlight mode. Just press and hold the mode. You go to flood, keep holding, then it goes to spotlight. Right, so this is a 1200 lumen spotlight beam at close range and medium range perfect illumination this is 1200 lumens only using the spotlight the spot reflector look at that you can see the roof quite clearly all right and we at, at any of the different modes you can turbo anytime or you can see oh maybe i want to see a bigger area just bam turbo let go and you're back all right bam turbo whoa let go and you're back so here's how you can expect it to look like, the kind of performance. And look up, very clear, very big, white coverage. Right around the corner, no problem at all. Off, on. Right, if you don't like this, you can go to spot mode. Right, just hold, flood, spot. Right, now it's a much more focused beam. Right, you can point down long corridors really pick out specific targets up in the building right this is your spotlight mode okay you can cover the whole length of the fence this way using the spotlight mode okay all right if you switch it back to the mix beam this is how the mix beam looks like also very effective all right so it depends on the kind of situation you're in and what kind of uh, beam you want to do this bam this is turbo right you, you saw the difference it's like literally day and night all right there's mode memory as well so whatever mode you were on you just turn it off turn it on again and you, you remember the same mode so let's switch this to number two for tactical mode in this mode the operations are simplified to prevent errors on the field just like the p10i and p20i Right, these had simplified controls to cater to police and military operators meaning when you turn on the light, it's always on full power so in the TM20K's case, when it's on tickle mode the power button becomes a momentary switch hold to turn it on, let go to turn off right, so it's good for signaling and tactical use right, there's no way to accidentally turn on the light and make it stay on by accident right, once you let go, it's, it'll turn off so you can also set the brightness level of this mode by holding on and then tap the mode button right so you can cycle to the mode you want let go and then now when you turn it on it's always on that same mode when it comes to charging the USB-C QC fast charging port is hidden here all right rubber seal so it's waterproof it goes from zero to full in four hours 30 minutes so when fully charged the standby time is about 12 months before you need to top it up again when charging this light will blink to show you it's charging Okay, once it stays on, it means it's fully charged. It also doubles as a battery indicator when the light is on. So if it stays on blue here when the light is on, the battery is above 50%. If it blinks slowly, the battery is under 50%. If it flashes quickly while it's on, it means the battery power is under 10% and you need to charge it soon. Right, it's quite simple. Another very useful feature is this deep carry pocket clip that's screwed on. Right, three very solid screws here. Unlike the clips on the round P20iX or similar, Right, that will just snap off if you yank it hard enough. So this is not going anywhere. Right, you follow the same clip as the older TM10K. Right, deep pocket carry here. Fits perfectly on mole webbing as well if you want quick access. Right, the clip is very strong so it's not going to just snap off anytime soon. Everything is very well sealed so you don't have to worry about waterproofing at all. This is submersible down to 2 meters. Right, but don't take this diving. Right, there you go. Everything is in. We're looking for bubbles. All right, if there are no bubbles, means everything is completely sealed. Now, there are some bubbles coming out from the cooling fins. 
Alright, you can also change the brightness while it is underwater. Alright, there you go. You can also turbo underwater, no problem at all. Alright, completely sealed. A magnetic holster is included. Alright, dealing loop at the back, plus a velcro belt loop here. Pop the top open, light goes in downwards first. And just pop it close and then you're set. So if your light accidentally turns on in the holster, it's going to show you that it's on. At this point, some of you are asking, hey, but what about the P10iX, right, the P20iX and the TM9K? Right, all of these are also very high lumen floodlights at 4,000 lumens and 9,500 lumens, which also designed with strobe ready switches and aimed at professional users. So the key difference, all of these are floodlights. Right? So if you look at the LEDs and reflectors, they're all very shallow. Right? Look at the TM20K, all shallow, but with one very deep reflector in the middle. Okay, you can compare it with the P10 iX. Look at how deep the middle one is. So that is the one that gives you the spot beam. If you compare the performance across the charge, this is what gives the TM20K double the beam distance, right? Up to 260 meters at 1200 lumen brightness. So it might be bigger in size, but this gives you greater reach and five or two times the brightness for greater effectiveness. So I will rank them in this order of size and capability. If I'm doing urban settings, I don't need to see far, but I need to use the light all night at high or turbo brightness. I will go with the P10iX and the P20iX because they have replaceable batteries. On a full night shift, many of the guys will burn through one and a half batteries on their petrol, so they always bring two spares. The TM9K has double the brightness because you know it has more LEDs, so you can hit bigger targets, but you can't swap out batteries. Like the TM20K, batteries are built in. So if you know it's only a short three hour op and you don't need long run time, but want the higher brightness, go with these two. Right, TM9K Tech and TM20K. If you know you're going to a larger work site where you need to see far, cover a lot of ground and move in teams and you could be dealing with uh, big crowds and vehicles, then go with the TM20K. But many people will say, oh, the built-in battery is a deal breaker. But if you use it smartly, make use of the floodlight and spotlight according to your situation, you extend the runtime by a lot instead of trying to overkill with turbo all the time. All right, so you can have it on ultra low, let's say 320 lumens. Right, which is the max of the MT2A by the way, so you have some context of a low for this light is the maximum for another light. So at this brightness, this runs for 13 hours. Right, so if you need turbo, you can just blast and hold for turbo. Once you're done, let go and you're back to ultra low. Right, you don't need to keep having it on turbo all the time. Right, so that's how you use high power lights. Also many clients work in teams. So this will be one of many lights being deployed, right? rotated to whoever's on point depending on the situation. It doesn't make sense to have everyone on a team having TM20Ks blasting light all over the place. If you got this far, then you should now know exactly how this light will help you or not help you. So when it comes to low light, high risk environments, things can escalate very quickly and the kind of lighting tools that you have will decide the outcome in many cases. Right? So if you are using lights that are simply not bright enough or don't have the controls to help you perform your best, then you're only setting yourself up for failure. Just like they say in construction, if you buy cheap tools, you'll be stripping screws all the time, right? causing you more pain and rework. Invest in specialized tools up front and you'll be far more efficient later. The TM20K is one such tool designed for very specific purpose to give maximum brightness in the smallest size with the smartest controls so you can do everything one-handed. This is the kind of light that won't get in your way when it's crunch time. Running and gunning on tactical modes, cutting the pie, clearing rooms, to daily tasks on low brightness. And when you need it, just get the insane punch and then it's back to work again. So now you've seen the two things that Nightcall did incredibly well and why it's constantly being used by professional users. It's the one-handed controls and unique combination reflector giving it double the distance of any other high lumen tactical floodlight that came before it. There's nothing like this on the market right now that can get you this unique combination of control and power. These are all in stock now at nightcallites.com. If you buy the TM20K direct from us, we also throw in three of the most useful bonuses to complement your new light. The first bonus, the MB20K power bank, 20,000 milliampere carbon power bank. This will fast charge the MB20K twice over, right? It also works great for your phones and even laptops. You get this free. Right, second bonus is this MPP30 pocket pouch, which will not only protect the power bank, right, but other essential uh, cables as well. So you see it fits perfectly in here when you're running and gunning. Right, there, perfect fit. 
Okay, you also get this pouch free. The third bonus is the NU06LE beacon light, which can be charged and powered by the power bank as well. Right, so this is the most sought after beacon from Nightcore now. It has four colors, three different real attachment brackets, mole, magnetic, velcro. Gonna keep you safe and visible in all kinds of ops. If you buy everything outside, it's 816 Singapore dollars, but you can get it now for just $529 when you get directly from us. You can also go for a three month installment, so there's no reason to not take advantage of this incredible offer. They are all in stock now. If you need to buy in bulk for your organization, just contact me and I'll work out a deal for you. As usual, these bundles will sell out fast, so order yours today. Right, this is the best launch bundle for the TM20K that isn't available anywhere else. So don't waste. Once your order is placed, we'll correct everything to your door within a week or so. Okay, the link to order is in the description below. As usual, this comes with our 60 day money back guarantee and fast free 3 year warranty. So there's no risk at all. If you'd like to see more videos like this where we help you choose the best lights for your work adventure, subscribe below and I'll see you on the next video. Alright, MJ signing out.